All right, y'all, so what's going on? Welcome to another Chris Chris. I'm switching it up a little bit this time. Normally, I come and talk to you guys before I do the run. Today, I came and talked to you guys after I did the run. And I actually started using an app to track my progress and see how I'm actually doing and see if I'm gonna get better each week or you're gonna not always get better each time, as we know. But I'm gonna start uploading the app so you can see where my progressions are. Maybe you wanna download the app for yourself. I'll leave it in the descriptions or you can search it yourself. The app is called Run Tracker, pretty simple. I mean, if you wanna pay for pro versions of it, you can, but that's what I'm using to keep track of my run. But either way, I thought I was running 3.5 miles. Unfortunately, I was running 2.5 and I've been finishing in that 25 to 30. Some days it's 30, some days it's 27, some days, you know, I got lucky and get a 25. But the one I got today was 30, honestly. It was 97 degrees outside. It was really hot and I'm wearing this and I'm like wearing all black. Let me see it and yeah, I'm like wearing all black and stuff. So I typically, I usually finish in that 28, 27 range, but I got 30 today. Hey, it's still good. I burn around like 300 or so calories and we're getting into leg day. I don't know if you saw my previous video, but I've been showing you how to do exercises with water jugs. So this week I'm going to show you some exercises to do with water jugs with legs. So we're going to be getting into, of course, we're going to be doing squats. We're going to be doing some deadlifts, squats, deadlifts, some things that I want to go more in detail and I talk about them. But just know it's going to be a, a variations of exercises that you can do that will help out your legs that you can use water jugs for. The first one I'm going to do is called a goblet squat, or I'm going to hold the weights up while I do my squat. I'm going to aim for any, anytime I'm doing squats, I'm aiming for 30. And anytime I'm doing deadlifts, I'm aiming for 20 or 10 and 10 each leg if it's a single deadlift. So just to get so I don't have to keep repeating myself with that. So here we go. just do squats back and back and back and back I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna do a dumbbell swing well in this case it's gonna be a water swing and I'll show you a demonstration well usually you can do it with two hands but I don't have a good grip you can either do it with two or do it with one uh, so I'm just gonna go make sure when you catch, you should be feeling it in your glutes and hamstrings. If you don't, that means you're not doing it right. So I'm aiming. So I'm aiming to do 20 each arm, so a total of 40. So let's go. With your love. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight 
workout no doubt but um what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna deadlift with the weights so grab one with each arm and you should know how to deadlift by now but if not you'll see while I'm going and I'm aiming for 20 of these 10 and 10 are never fun especially once you add those weights when I was doing it before in my previous videos about them it was a little bit easier but that one was a challenge so what I'm gonna do next is a goblet squat where your feet are a little are pointed and your and your legs are a little bit more spread than a normal squat and like I said I'm gonna do 10 10 and 10 and I'm gonna use a I'll show you how I use the water weight with this one water rates man if y'all have not added this to your repertoire you're doing yourself a disservice so i'm i'm feeling how i feel at the gym man it's great but uh what i'm gonna do next are called surrender and you know i'm a guy that likes to show demonstrations so i'll give you guys a demonstration 
you're going to have to keep your water weights up above your shoulders. And then what you're going to do, you're going to stand in a, start in a standing position. You're going to go down, down. And then you're going to go back up. That is one. I'm going to do ten of those. Because <sighs> these are definitely a little more challenging. So go at your own discretion. So what I'm going to be doing next is the Bulgarian split squat and that's if you don't I've done it before in a previous video but if not I'll show you right now. It's where you're going to need a stool or a chair, get enough space and then you're going to do that. And I'm going to do 10 each leg. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to end this workout. I'm going to do calf raises. I'm going to do a total of 30, and I'm going to do them with the weights. And honestly, I just love doing my glute kicks, so I'm going to do 15 each leg, and that's how I'm going to end it. That one's without water. That one, I'm not going to be using water jugs, but working out them glutes is very important, so I'm going to just work on that. But working on the glutes is very important, so of course I got to get a workout for that. <laughs>
So that was the workout. Showed you guys eight different exercises to use with the water. Well, actually, I showed you seven exercises and then, you know, the glute kicks. But either way, I showed you some variations. Get creative, you know, like I'm saying, we're stuck home. Some people are in places that the gyms might open up, but me personally, it ain't open up no time soon, so we still got to get creative with these workouts. So as you know, I post my gym videos Thursday noon Eastern time. You should, you should turn on that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I post it. Be sure to like, comment on my videos, how your progress is going. Have you been working out multiple times a week? Is it only sporadically, once or twice a week? Have you, have you been implementing any of my routines? Have you bought some water jugs? Please leave me some feedback in the comments section. And if you enjoy this, share this with your friends. Maybe they can get some workout routine tips as well. I'm Chris Chris. I'm out this motherfucker. Thank <laughs> you.